This is Bionics, a ROM that I have built for the Ally, and I hope to see it on the Enlighten and the Droid Razor here sometime soon. It's currently running the 360 launcher as a default launcher. I chose the 360 launcher because it's full of customization and user settings, and people can mod it out and customize it and make it feel like whatever they want it to. The main theme of Bionics is a blur-like theme. I've edited it and make, make it look a lot more decent than what you would find on the Bionic or Razor or Droid 4. But it's much more appealing on here. There's a couple of things that a lot of people wonder about Bionic. What makes it so different about the other ROMs that are out there? First thing I'll start out with is the camera. Now I've modded out the camera so that the background is transparent so it doesn't feel like you're locked in the secluded camera app. And when your battery gets low, on the old camera it would prevent you from taking pictures. In this version, it does not. So your battery could be like 5% and you can still be taking pictures. The only drawback is that is that the camera button broke. It wasn't functioning correctly. So I modded it out to be a back button and a power button. A lot of people find this discouraging, but I like it because it matches the same environment as a higher end smartphone would. Like on the Droid Razor, you only got three buttons. You can't exactly move the power button if you don't like it there. But otherwise, it would be a useless button, so I'm keeping it that way. Some people don't like it, some people like it. I'm keeping it that way. I can't just, I can't give everyone their own options. Another aspect is the MIUI music which I have updated to have transparency so it makes your like songs and artist area look decent so it's keeping the same background as your wallpaper. Another aspect is the gallery. I've themed up the gallery to have like an ICS blur like feel to it. So not, not much different, just themed. It's running the Syngon Mon messaging app. And it comes with the LG Revolution weather app. And of course a modified version of the wired and wireless tethering apps. I'll pop the wireless tethering app really quick. As you can see it looks a lot better than the normal version would. It's themed up really nicely. And when it starts, you'll get a big blue telling you what's going on. A notification. Oh, come on. Come on! As you can see, my laptop just connected. So. One aspect that other people mention in the other builds is that I had black wording. And I fixed that in the latest build. So all your notifications are in white text. And the background doesn't mess up with anything. I forgot to kill it. Kill. This ROM comes preloaded with Button Savior, the Flashlight app, the Fandroid Tapatalk app, OI File Manager, the Tethering apps, and Fancy Widget, which the Fancy Widget would be this, this guy right here, which makes your phone feel a little bit sexier. If you aren't familiar with the 360 launcher, I would definitely go look it up on ZDA because it has a lot of features that no other launchers include, like a task manager, you press the little widget and cleans out your phone, it's battery optimizer to kill, make sure all your apps are killed in the background so your battery lasts, and you can download it an add-on called 360 Guards, which is basically an antivirus, a call blocker, an all-in-one optimizer. It's really awesome. That's why I chose the 360 launcher again. Uh, the main thing that I focus on was the Android settings. You got a lot of options to choose from and it's it's got a lot of information available to users. You can view your change log right up front. I need to update that. 360 launcher options right up front. You can control your CPU right there. Preferences is basically a modded out spare parts. 
you can view the bionics wallpapers from here and your tethering options right here as well so bionics wallpapers you got a nice selection a few of them I made like this one and these two guys originally the splash top image some sense wallpapers, ICS wallpapers, LG wallpapers, Motorola wallpapers, a nice selection. And I modded out the Droid 4 wallpaper so that you can enjoy that as well. So I'll choose this one for now. In Bionics, there's a lot of initial.d scripts running on startups, so your battery is constantly being watched, your performance constantly being watched, the ROM is basically basically I like to call it a smart ROM because it's keeping your device up and rolling and trying not to lag you out, out of anything and it's constantly monitoring your your network so it's trying to keep you at full connection at full times so right now regular I should have one to two bars but right now I got three So that's basically Bionics. On the Ally, I can't do much. On Enlighten or Droid Razor, I have plenty of room, plenty of memory to play with. So I'm excited to see what all I can do on those, especially since I'll be working with Gingerbread and ICS here soon. And those operating systems alone offer a lot of new options. So I'm kind of excited to see what all I can do with this ROM next. You can expect the 360 launcher to, to run the Bionics ROM and I might even add an extra add-on to it to keep keep users pretty happy. Now a lot of users who have used the Bionics firmware have been extremely happy. It wasn't exactly planned. I mean, I I just thought it'd be a cool idea, but something that I had kept secret, I let it out and people were in awe. So, I'm going going to continue development on this, buddy and see you how far it goes. A couple quick things about the 360 launcher. One thing that people like about it is that you can change the theme of it, like the layout. I have my own Motorola blur theme that I created and it comes pre-packed with the Bionics ROM. And I have downloaded here some of these favorite theme and ICS themes. So I'll apply that really quick. And now, we have ICS, woohoo! Not really, but I'm not a fan of ICS layout. That's why I don't really keep it. Another thing, you can change your wallpapers, comes pre-packed with wallpapers, and I guess it looks like 577 wallpapers to download, along with the Bionics wallpapers, icon backgrounds, Effects, and of course the lock screen. And I'll apply an iPhone lock screen right now. Hey, play nice. There we go. As you can see. So that's Bionics. Bionics is pretty nifty. Full featured customization. That was my goal.